Yes, yes, I actually just, I did all of them this year um, at Columbia University. Um, it was a project for, um, you know, they, they did all the violin, uh, sonatas and partitas, they did um, the piano, um, I'm not sure what exactly they did for it with the piano, they did six um, uh, piano uh, solo box pieces, and then um, they did all the cello suites. So um, it, it, I did the first three in the fall, and the last three um, just a few weeks ago. Hmm. So, you, so it was a lot of fun. The, the critics have been calling your performances very mature, and just thus, I think, coming to the Bach cello suites is not uh, all that unusual because these works are usually done by artists who have uh, been steeped in the cello literature for quite a while. Right, right. Uh, well, you know, it, it's a... They're actually the most... They're still the most intimidating pieces to play in public. Um, and, they're, and, of course, I'm going to play them extremely differently in 20 years. I know it, and um, I already, you know... But it, it's the kind of thing that you study your whole life, and they evolve... Uh, again, I mean, I, I wouldn't record them now, but performing them, I would do. Ah, all right. Yes, yes, yeah. I understand exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And you're doing the Kodai Sonata. That must be uh, mm-hmm. fun, if challenging. Oh, very challenging and a lot of fun, yes. <laughs> How about uh, the concert with the Virginia Symphony? I'm, I, I'm playing the Dvorak Concerto, yes. You've lived with that Dvorak Concerto now for, for quite a while, and it is, yes. if not the greatest, one of the greatest for your instrument. Do you find that it has grown with you? Absolutely. I, will. I mean, I, start, I first learned it when I was about 12 years old, and um, even then I felt like I had waited my whole long 12-year-old life to play it. Because, <laughs> you know, it was my dream to play it when I was four years old when I started out the cello. Um, but yes, I mean, the first time I played it with orchestra, I was 14. So um, that's 14 years ago. So it, it's, um, it, it's definitely evolved quite a lot. And it, it doesn't lose any of its freshness, does it? Oh, it, it can't. I mean, it's too much of a masterpiece for that. Um, it has everything you could possibly ask for. I mean, a perfect structure, not a note out of place. It's, um, has, it runs the gamut of range of emotions. It's, I think it's actually one of the most emotionally satisfying pieces to hear and to play. So it's, um, yeah, it's kind of the perfect piece in a way. You've played this with several orchestras, so I suspect mm-hmm. that you've uh, dealt with several uh, different interpretations uh, sure. by various conductors. Sure, absolutely. And is that I, what sort of challenge does that present? Well, it, you kind of become a psychologist in a way, sort of uh, figure out what works and what doesn't with different orchestras. Um, I just play, I just had a fantastic experience playing this with Gustavo Dudamel. Yes. Um, in um, in L.A. and uh, it was one of the best collaborations I've ever had with anyone. He's um, He's such an incredible musician and person and also so intuitive. I felt like he was anticipating everything I was going to do. I didn't have to say a single word to him about anything. Yes. Um, it he- was just, um, it was, uh, I, I, I felt so free to do what I wanted to do and also to um, to be very uh, spontaneous with the orchestra. So it was, um, it was a really, really fun collaboration. Yeah, he's, he's an amazing conductor. I, I can imagine oh, what it'll be like in, in 10 or 20 years. Um, yeah. you, you have been on the road quite a bit. Do you find that very yes. taxing? It's a bit taxing, um, especially the past six months. I've been extremely, extremely busy, even busier than usual. Um, and, um, it, you know, sort of hopping across different, a different time zone every single day. And it's, I've been having a wonderful time. But, yes, I'm, I, have a, I have three weeks off in June, which I'm kind of looking forward to. <laughs> well, good. Go, go relax. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Anything? Is there anything in the repertoire that that you haven't uh, taken on and would like to? Uh, a couple things. Um, I've not played the Dutier Concerto or the Ludus mm-hmm. um, Those mm-hmm. are those are pieces I really um, want to play. Um, I I'm also working with several different composers, so it's just opening my eyes to a, a whole new uh, genre of music. So, um, so, so that's. Um, um, Matthias Pincher is also right a German composer is, is uh, also writing a concerto for me. Um, he's very very well known, um, and he's uh, he also has a cello concerto already, which Trolls work um, premiered, mm-hmm. um, and Alban Gerhard has played and everything. So I, I'm playing that in the, with the Tonhalle Orchestra. Um, Wonderful. This December. So that's this is one of my projects, but I'm going to learn at my time off. So.